Yo, this is Itana Plays, Pokemon Black 2. So it was Colrus who's one of the guys who've been the mastermind of this project. He's saying that he wanted to do things to bring out the potential Pokemon of the other best, even if it means he have to support Team Plasma. But now he's said to go to the left of the uh, prison of Kyrim, in which we will see the true potential behind this project. So once you're ready, go forward. What? You beat Colrus? Oh, I don't pretend to be strong, but I don't have any Pokemon. Oh, that sounds nice, I guess. Um, we need to do a little ching with our healing, because we will having some coming battles we want to make sure we are ready for. So let's revive up our Crocodile. That sounds good. You have a portion of Crocodile as well. There we go. Now it's fully healed and all my team is ready to go. Once you're ready, step on to the war pile on the left of the prison. And then we'll meet a familiar face we haven't seen in this game so far. That we had a lot of trouble with it in the past. Yep, of course. It is him. That blasted Colrus. The fool is far too committed to pure science. This is how you replace me for making him the boss of Team Plasma? How dare he put his personal intellectual curiosity before our ultimate mission of conquering Unova? How fortunate for you. If you get to be the sole audience member for one of my speeches. Team Plasma will use his knowledge and technology to take Kyrim's true power to its absolute limit and freeze the Unova region. The terrified people and Pokemon will bow at Team Plasma's... No. At my feet. Kyrim is an empty being. The remnants of a certain Pokemon when it's split into Reshiram and Zekrom. My desire is absolute rule of Unova. That's right. Kyrim will be the vessel into which my desires will be poured. Lord Jetsis, Kyrim has been transferred. It is finally here. The wonderful era in which I am the absolute ruler of Unova has finally arrived. I'll let you take care of this. Wait, you're one of the Shadow Tribe, right? Tell me about the pearl that was stolen in Asperdia. Very well. This might be it. I stole this Pokemon five years ago in Asperdia. So it seems like that this is the Pokemon you're talking about. But now it only listens to my commands. Such as the fate of Pokemon that are trapped in Pokeballs. What? Don't mess with me. That's someone else's Pokémon! Ah... I feel sorry for your Pokémon. They rule by Pokéballs and the whims of their trainers. Lord Jetsy spoke of Pokémon liberations two years ago, simply for his own ambitions, but... If his plan had succeeded, many Pokémon would have been saved. This Leopard, well, you knew it as a Purloin. If it hadn't been released, it might have been returned to you. Well then, you there, I won't let you interfere with Lord Jets' plans. And now we're gonna fight off against the Shadow Tribe again. And this time you'll see what they have in store. So Team Plasma Shadow is our first opponent. He sends out the Ponyard. So Ponyard, dual type, dark and steel, which means it has a weakness to ground. That's what I'm gonna exploit right here. Let's go with the Bulldoze. Bulldozing the Ponyard would be enough to kill it though. No, it will survive, but it will reduce the speed a bit. Ponyard is defiant, so when it's going low, it will increase its attack power very high. It comes a scary face, which means its speed will go up down on my side to times two. But since his speed also went down from the Bulldoze, will that mean I'll be quicker than him though? Let's see. Yep, I'm still quicker, because even though he reduced my speed by two, I reduced him by one, and this Bulldoze will take it down. Now his Moxie will proc, which means Crocodile will deal more damage 
up in upcoming attacks. Our next Pokemon to fight is going to be another Ponyard. So of course, since we got a Moxiproc, let's stick with Crocodile for this one. We're still minus 2 in speed though, but we have 1 plus attack. Let's go with the Bulldoze again. Ponyard this one is quicker. We're going to use Hone Claws, which means his attack power and accuracy will go up. Accuracy means that you have a higher chance to hit with moves that doesn't have a perfect accuracy. The Bulldoze lands on the Ponyard, will this be enough though? It will be enough. And the second Ponyard goes down. Another Moxiproc for Crocodile. Attack power up by 1 again, which means up to 2 in total. And the last Pokemon from this shadow is going to be Absol. Absol, of course, is a uh, pure Dark type Pokemon, so if you need a uh, one hit KO on it, bring a Fighting type or bring a Bug type. We're going to stick with the Crocodile because of the attack power boost. He is slower though. Minus 2 speed plus 2 attack. Let's go with Dig. Absol is quicker, we'll be using Slash on Crocodile. We're dealing a good amount of damage, but Crocodile will survive, taking a bit bit more less than half damage. Go on the ground, Absol will use Slash again, but I won't be there. Come to Dig. Will it be enough though? 2 plus attack power Dig, non normal damage. And it's gonna be enough. The Absol goes down. The Moxie goes up again. This is the only reason why I think Mox the Crocodile is so good. If Crocodile can get the advantage to take a 102 of the first Pokemon in a long battle team, Crocodile will become so strong. It doesn't bother us a bit if the stolen Pokemon cry or beg. Oh, is that so? You're not done yet! Yep, we all have to fight not one, not two, but all three of the Shadow Triad in this one. So this means we have to go against two more Shadow Triad before we can t tell this one is over. Seal up our Crocodile. Let's get ready for the next one of these two. Let's take the one on the right. We swore to be loyal to Lord Justice since he saved us. He saved you? From what exactly? Being humiliated? I think you already are humiliated. Doesn't matter though, we're gonna face up against the second of three Team Plasma. Shadow of Triad. Gonna be the Ponyard again. So it's gonna be Ponyard versus the Crocodile. So we can do Bulldoze again, but I think Bulldoze won't be good enough. We are now 0 on speed and 0 on attack, so let's go with Dig. We'll be outspeeding the Ponyard at least. Let's go with Dig. Ponyard will be using Scary Face, but that won't help me. Instead, I'll go on the ground, Dig, onto the Ponyard. That should be enough to kill it. And that means the first of 3 Pokémon of this one goes down. Moxiproc as well from Crocodile, which means Crocodile will be going up in attack power. Next Pokemon to fight will be Ponyard again. We must be really liking the Ponyards here at uh, Team uh, Plasma's uh, Shadow Triad. That's okay though. Let's bulldoze this one instead. Here it goes. And the second Ponyard will go down in a single hit. And there it goes. And the last Pokemon will be Bennett. Interesting. So Bennett is a pure ghost type Pokemon. And that actually means we should stick with the Crocodile because Bennett, as a ghost type, is weak to dark. Let's keep battling with the Crocodile. And now we have plus two attack power versus the Bennett. Bennett is two levels, three or four levels above us, but that's fine. Crunch. We're faster than the Bennett. Here comes the Crunch with plus two attack power boost. How much will it do? That's going to be a one hit KO, a critical hit to make sure of it. And the Bennett goes down. And the Crocodile is sweeping through. The power of Crocodile goes so good if you just can get the first KO and get attack power boost. It doesn't bother us a bit if you have to use another Pokemon after one is defeated. Oh, that's a lot of XP. Listen well. The only thing we want is the world jets its desire. Yeah, but we don't want to have the world that Lord Justice desires. We want a world that everyone is desiring. So, stop with the... Uh, stop being, being uh, should we say, annoying to us and being really evil. I guess they don't really care. So, we have to move on. We have one more Shadow Tribe member to go through. It's going to be this one. I have no problem with you, but this is for Lord Jetsis. Oh boy! You really want to protect this Lord Jetsis, but... We don't want that, so we're going to take on the third and final Shadow Tribe member, and let's see what he has in store for us. His first Pokemon, of course, like the other ones, is going to be the Ponyard. 
So Ponyard, pure Pokemon of power, that's what we could say. Dual type, dark and steel, which means again he's weak to ground. Let's do the same tactic here as we did in the last one. On the first one, since we don't have any attack power boost, let's go on the ground. And then as strike him again with a dig. That should be enough to take it down. And the first Moxiproc will come for Crocodile. Good to Crocodile again and get some uh, love now. After being a bit dumb because it's a pure, horrible defense power. Next up is going to be Axelgore. Because Axelgore is a cool Pokemon. It's a Volt for form of uh, Carablast. And this one is a bit cool Pokemon because it has different types of evolving. Basically, it evolves from Shellmet when traded for a Carablast, which evolves into a Scavalier simultaneously. This is kind of cool though. So Shellmet um, becomes the uh, Axelgore and the Carablast becomes the uh, Scavalier. So this one is also a bit cool. So uh, Shellmet was a bug type, Carablast was a bug type. Uh, a Scavalier becomes a Bug and Steel type, while the Exilgore remains a Bug type. So that means we can fight off with Fire or Flying. Let's bring in the Fire. So Arcanine, come on in. You've probably seen in lane that Ex Exilgore means that it is very, very fast. And it's also thing. It's very, very fast Pokemon. It's very, very quick, but its defense powers is really crap. So if you can strike it with a good move, it should go down pretty quickly. Exilgore with the Bug Bus. Onto um, Arcanine, which will deal very low damage because fire is resistant to bug. Flamethrower on Excelgore. I'll take it down in a single hit. Excelgore goes down. Well played, Arcanine. And the last Pokemon will be another Ponyard, so let's have Arcanine finish it off. Remember, Ar Arcanine is also very good against Ponyard because Ponyard is dual type Dark Steel, and Steel is weak to fire. Flamethrower again onto the Ponyard, and that shall take it down. Just like that. It doesn't bother us a bit if Pokemon win or lose. It doesn't? That's a bit uh, cruel, wouldn't you say? Even if I lose, Lord Jepsis simply has to win. No matter. The only thing you can do is to watch Lord Jepsis use Kyrim to. Freeze you Nova Solid. That's all. You. I'll return this Pokemon to you. Considering what Lord Judges is about to do, I have no further need of it. Hey, Sitano. If you let the Implasma do whatever they want, there'll be more sad Pokemon like Pearline and Kyrim. Yeah, you can say that for sure. But we cannot stop now. We now have to continue. And we have to go on. Because gets this. He got away. He has some evil plans going on. And we have to stop him. That's what we have to do. So this episode will end a bit early. That's also because the next few episodes will also be a bit quick. Because we have some very epic events. Because coming up in the next few episodes. The showdown and the final memories of Team Plasma. This is going to be the toughest one. So make sure you're ready for what's going to come. So whatever you do. Be ready for whatever is going to come. It's going to be a tough battle ahead of us. Where we're going to see what we can do to stop Team Plasma for good this time. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. And that's it for now. See you guys next time as my journey in Pokemon Black 2 continues.